Good afternoon. My name is Jonathan Getch, and uh, I have a here today called U.S. Protect, and it's based here in Las Vegas. It's 15 years old. It's been predominantly in the cybersecurity space, providing uh, professional services, uh, red team testing services, and software development. Uh, managed services, and it's already a well-established business. From that, uh, we uh, started to build products that captured the attention of some major enterprise businesses in the United States here, as well as the federal government. And out of nowhere, I got a phone call from Capital, and they invited me out to Washington, D.C. to start talking about the capabilities of a specific cybersecurity software that I'm going to talk to you about today. And it's called Anomaly. Anomaly is a kind of a play on words of uh, <coughs> Anomaly. Um, but the private briefing was a couple of hours in the Eisenhower room, and I got to talk to some of the, you know, secretaries of state and undersecretaries. And currently, I'm working with uh, some of the you know, deputy chiefs of cybersecurity uh, as we roll out some proof of concepts. So with that, um, what I wanted to do is let's take a look here. talk about uh, really the fact that there's a, there's a high level of passion that I'm going to bring to this conversation today. The reason is. CEOs have been telling me for 15 years exactly what it is that they can't get, what it is that they need, and what it is that are problems that are prevalent in the cybersecurity software and applications that they're forced to look at and deal with today. And I'd like to take a lot of copious notes. So I'm going to break it down and simply ask two specific questions. First question is, do we understand what dwell time is? Dwell time is the amount of time an adversary is actually inside of the network and that time is growing. It's grown from hundreds of days to we see businesses today that have, 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 that have dwell time in excess of four years, even longer. How, how long can a, the adversary be inside? And the question that, subject, that, that, sub, that, that follows that is, how is it that cybersecurity software has become so grand and so great if we're unable to find an insider, right? This is one of the things that Anamo attacks head on. And this is why I, I know that agencies with no names are very interested in what we do. The other thing is that there's a lot of data and all this data that's available is not available in real time. Now, when I talk about real time, I'm not talking about space age for like within microseconds. We actually do have a refresh rate. It takes about uh, two minutes in order for us to refresh all of the data. But that live dashboard can do something that no other dashboard does in software today. It takes a one-to-one a, a -one ratio of when I identify a problem, I can show them the dashboard immediately result. This is different than any other software that's in the Layer 3 environment because Layer 3 is all about scan the entire environment, find out what the problems are, fix them, scan the environment again. This is a very antiquated process. The C-suite that I've talked to they are, they are tired of being held captive outside of the realm of the IT wall. Where is this information? I need to know it now. A general counsel or a fiduciary or the board of directors can't wait a month to get a report on cybersecurity, whether there's a breach or otherwise. We address this with real-time reporting. Now, the market itself is growing rapidly, as we all know. Soon, it's going to be at close to $300 billion. And while that is large and so the cybersecurity market is huge, we're focused on a very specific slice of the industry. I'm going to talk about technically the layer three and the layer four of the network environment. Layer three is what's represented in the $6 billion subset of the security market. And we intend to capture 5% of this market over the course of five years. Now, the interesting part is 65% of this entire market is made of small companies. And there's only five players that dominate the top of the market. In this, we can see from the screen the players that are in it. I already know all of those players. I know all the products that are within those. So we are going to be able to attack this specific market very, very well. And we already have companies, uh, I'm sorry, customers that are in point uh, using uh, proof of concepts currently that have purchased those products from those five leaders as well as products within the category of 65%. So what does a live dashboard look like? And what is continuous diagnostics and mitigation? So the, the Department of Homeland Security has created the program, which is called CDM. And CDM suggests, let's find the information, let's validate that data, and let's get it to a dashboard for Christ's sake, and let's do it fast. Now, fast for the government, 72 hours. 
sorry guys, we do it in two minutes. That's when they found out we do it in two minutes. They picked up the phone and said, you're flying out here. Just as a word, I mean, last week I was in the Pentagon discussing this specific product. So, um, part B is this data analytics piece. The layer four of the, of, of the technology system is the application layer. So let's back it down through the live dashboard. That's layer three, it's all the equipment, it's all the software that's running inside of the environment. That everybody can get to that information, but once they've fixed it, there's no more forensics. We capture all of the forensics. So that means if we see a software change, we can have the entire history of those changes and use that for a multitude of reasons I'm not gonna get into in today's conversation. But at the, at the application layer or layer four, what you have is user information. This is the fingerprinting of everybody, where you're going, what you're authorized to do, what you're not authorized to do. We capture every single move, add, modification, deletion. If you do anything in this environment, we own you 100%. So we also created a filter. This filter is something that we like to, this is not the actual filter itself. I'm just saying these are the metrics within the filter. So whether we're talking about a single server or across an entire enterprise, or if we're just looking at a, an exclusive department, we can track any kind of file permission trees, date times, files, opt-in permissions, things that you know are, are essential for us to pinpoint, not within a month, not within a day, but the actual moment that on a server something took place. So the business model is real straightforward, guys. I mean, it's a recurring software agent license model, and uh, we, can't, we can't get to the bottom of this, but what I want to talk about is the problem with technology. It's technical. It takes a lot of effort from people to realize, how do I go about deploying a sophisticated, uh, a sophisticated application? It requires professional services. There's delays in rollout. There's a... Uh, uh, just all kinds of extra ex expenses. And then the worst part, the client that's buying it, they're expected to have to go in and uh, you know, fill out a bunch of uh, information to make it work. We've solved that. You literally found this application, it installs in a Ruby gem. That is a little piece of technology that goes on a server, installs in about 10 seconds. It understands exactly what data it needs to collect, and it's considered to be benign information. This data is immediately encrypted, sent into our cloud environment. Our cloud environment is where our secret sauce gets spread all over this data. And we take that data, re-encrypt it, and push it right back to the customer, and you hit that live dashboard feed. So when there's a one-to-one -one ratio or a 10-to-10 10 10 ratio of things being fixed and things being done, there's no longer a need to scan and rescan and rescan and rescan. Our system is basically taking picture frames and comparing them analytically right? Second by second, moment by moment, minute by minute. So it works out of the box, transmits the data, and it's back on the dashboard in, in uh, literally uh, less than two minutes. Uh, the, 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 the company, U.S. ProTech, is an established managed service provider company. Um, I'm actually the president of the, count of the company, but the staff for Anomo comprise of Alex Padovas, who's the senior developer, also uh, is a uh, completed law school, has got a jurisdiction. Um, we have obviously business development, service delivery, and accounting on staff. But what's really great and been a blessing to our company is on our board of advisors, we have members out of the DOD, Aerospace and Defense, Harvard of Commerce, and other major businesses. So they are helping to shape uh, the presentation and how we deliver the APIs to their dashboards. Um, the investment opportunity is very straightforward. We are seeking to get into rapid growth. Um, we have a uh, fair uh, way of, of discussing this, but we're going to reinvest 30% of our uh, recurring revenue back into developing uh, and building the sales team. Uh, the last thing I would point out is this is our problem. Our problem is not that we can make money, it's how fast we can make money. And if we do it organically and taking 30% from the sales, I'm going to be subject to a slow growth. We're, we're talking about making a, maybe a million dollars in a in, in, at the end of year three, which is not very exciting money. Um, but with the right sales staff and the clients, we can, we can increase that to one and a half million uh, 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 a month. We get at 15 million per year in year three. And then it's sub, it's sub, it goes up to, uh, like we can talk about uh, the projections that, are, um, that we're looking at right now, but they're substantial. As I mentioned, we're looking at 5% of, uh, of $6 billion, billion dollar market. So that's the problem that I have, and I'd like to change that through an investment. Great, thank, thanks very much. We've uh, 
We have 12 seconds left to spare, so thank you. Uh, I'm going to, uh, well, why don't you stop sharing? Okay.